Okay, so uh, well, we found out we've we've eliminated we've eliminated that from me from what I need to do, which is rather frustrating because now I haven't the full use what else I can do. Um, I've got bait, but what is that going to be for? There, now my bait will stay fresh. What? Nothing smells better than flowers. A homemade perfume. Maybe I use that on him? On this guy? That. Revenge! The contents of this bottle are too dry to spritz. Oh. <gasps> the fountain! The fountain, the fountain, the fountain. So let's do that. The contents of this bottle are too dry to spritz. Yeah. So put water in it. I don't think she'd like that. This almost smells like that hanky, except the hanky smells more like hamster bedding, more fishy, and more mucky. So... Ah, yes. And then we're going to use that... Uh... I don't think that would help anything. I don't think that would help anything. But if it smells like that, we might be able to go back, go to the... Just give it a bit of a squirt, and then see what it smells like. And see if that gets me in now. Into Palace of Prosthes. And then we might be able to confuse Dave. This almost smells like that hanky, except the hanky smells more like hamster bedding, more fishy, and more mucky. I can't really do those, unfortunately. Dang, that's some weird smelly stuff you sprayed at me. It smells flowery. Okay, so he's not... Never mind. Uh, it needs more mucky and more fishy. So let's go to the bait shop. And see what we can find. <sighs> um, because that... There'll be some... Probably some fish we can... So, or something. The caviar. The caviar? Maybe the caviar. Maybe the caviar. You're back, eh? Can't resist the smell of fresh bait, huh? If that's fresh, I don't want to know what old bait smells like. Yeah, you'd think that maybe... I don't think that would help anything. No. Get out of here then. No, no, no. There we go. Nah, I prefer to keep this to myself and a select group of close friends. So how do I... No. The bait. Let's go out and try this now. This almost smells like that hanky, except the hanky smells more like hamster bedding and more mucky. Right, hamster bedding is kind of sawdust. 
I don't think there's anyone working wood, is there? That we can kind of do? That we can kind of use for the smell? Um... I prefer to keep this to myself and a select group of close friends. So where have we got anything resembling muck or hamster bedding? Sticks, 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 sticks. Um, no, 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 the, the, here maybe? I prefer oh, to keep right. this to myself and a select group of close friends. Nah, I prefer to keep hmm. this to myself and a select group of close friends. Into the sticks, then? If he's got any, like, sawdust where he's made them. Um. Oh, hello, I saw a thing. Wood shavings! If I had a hamster, I could use this stuff for bedding. There we go. Thing. Um. There, that should make the concoction smell interesting. Okay. It is very important to choose a walking stick that fits your body, lifestyle, and temperament. Your walking stick should be no more than waist high and hefty enough to support 50% of your body weight. Active people should choose a stick that corresponds with the type of activity. Boring. I guess I don't want a walking stick that bad. Well, I still think I want the duck walking stick, but I can't remember what the number is at this point. Um, so let's give this a sniff. This almost smells like that hanky, except the hanky smells more mucky. I need to find something. I need to find muck. There's a puddle in the mist of time. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. Let's go and have a look. There we go. I've always wanted swamp scented perfume. And that makes sense as to why it affects him, because that's where he is, that's where he lives. Hey, this smells exactly like that hanky, only stronger. Fagnose peat scented perfume. Do I use that on myself first or do I use it on Dave? Exactly like that hanky, only stronger. Yeah. I know. Oh no, I'm just gonna spray it on him anyway. Woo! That's an all too familiar smell. I guess I can't complain though, since Opus E3 is my best customer. Opus E3. The man regularly buys prosthetic noses from me. Really? He's my uh, really good friend. Yeah. I lost track of him and uh, missed him so much that I made a little odor potion to remind me of him. Okay, too much information. I have a strict rule of don't ask, don't smell. Well, anyways, if you know where I can find my uh, friend, that'd be very helpful. Oh, yeah, sure. He lives out past the Mists of Time Marsh. You can't get through there, though, without the directions he gave me. And it's filed away someplace in my Philomatic system. Well, let's go get that file. I can't. Pongo, my filing monkey, ran away a while back. He was the only one who knew how to run the Philomatic. As a result, I have no idea how to retrieve the map. But if you can figure it out, feel free. The controls are right here. Okay. Um. Right, well. Opus E3, is that relevant? I mean, I mean this is the thing, it's like... What could it be? Because I can't really think Opus E3, wasn't it? I don't know. 
if it's meant to be similar to the name. Nope. The name on it says, Karin H. Esterhaus. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, nah, phone number, right. allergies. Nope. No, oh, you've went too far. Stupid button system. This is why mice, mouses, mouses is are important. The name on it says, Karin H. Esterhaus. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. So I don't think it is actually relevant to the name. Hmm. Right. The name on it says Doreen H. Tiddlywink. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. I don't know. I don't know if it's overly important, but the mi mid. The name on it says Doreen H. Tiddlywink. It has all sorts of useless H information, again. such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. It appears no. to be some sort of high-tech file retrieval system. So if I move this middle one, is that, that's not what, what I meant to do. I'm trying to work this out. I'm trying to work out the system. The name on it says Bon K Brain. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. So it's now K. Monk E. And they have to work out what the other symbols are going to be. Because Opus E3, I think he said. The name on it says Amy S. Happy Go Lucky. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. So we'll just try this. That was S, the monkey. Unless this isn't logical and I'm wrong. The name on it says Dan W. Hootniferous. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I know this system. I don't think I fully grasp it. The name on it says Bobby D. Fisher. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. Is there a way of skipping that? Not on the notes, I've, not on the things, not on the manual I've got. Left. Oh, there is. Delete, or full stop, I think. I think we're back to where we started. So the idea that the middle one is it controls the middle initial completely is wrong. Okay. Unless this is an E, which I don't think it is. The name on it says Karin H. Esterhaus. It has all sorts of useless information. Ah, it's full stop. Um so we didn't get any E's. Okay, so I need to give that some more thought. Um It appears to be some sort of high-tech file retrieval system. Um. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um. I still want. I still like the trees. Maybe this will give me an idea. Maybe not. The name on it says Frankie T. Freakenstein. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic prescriptions, address, phone number, allergies. So FTF is what we got. 
so then none of those are close to OET which I think might be what we're trying to do or they're not close to the relevant to the relevant one the name on it says Ignatius A Magma it has all sorts of useless information such as prosthetic prescriptions Ooh, address phone right. number allergies ah No, no, no. I can't skip this. Mm. The name on it says Ignatius. It has all sorts. Ignatius A. No, I'm going to change these. But not the middle one. Because yeah, I don't know if it's just the if it just it, it, if they've just kind of split it. I don't know. The name on it says Niles D. Reaver. It has all sorts of useless Niles information, such as prosthetic okay. prescriptions, address. No. Maybe change this one. Yeah. Just slight changes to try and see if I can get it to fit. The name on it says Pastrami A. Wappernapper. It has all sorts of useless information, such as prosthetic okay, prescriptions. So we'll try changing the middle one then. But yeah, I, like, I, I don't have a logic. I'm assuming it's just the first one gives you, oh, this is where, the, where in the alphabet the first letter, the, the initial of the first name is. Oh. There are directions to Pegno's Pete's house. Weird. Yes. Looks more like a train schedule to me. There we go. Uh, Agni's prosth prosthetic proboscis model TK421. Mr. Time Marsh 1210S, 1225S, 1W, 135W, 155W, 235W, 335W, 355N. Is it just you go in these directions? But it can't be because you start in a position where you can't go in those directions. Really? Isn't that isn't that right? I I don't know, but uh, um, we'll find out next time. That's a good place to put the cut cut in. And uh, yeah, next time we will attempt to make our way through the mists of time marsh, assuming we can. Unless we need the clock. Well. We'll find out next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.